just arrived here on Inyaka Island in southern Mozambique. We'll be mainly targeting pelagic fish. Uh, yeah, looking for some of those ticks on the back of our shirt. I've got my very good friend Jamie Bretsky here from Port Elizabeth. Um, we dive a lot together in PE, hunting yellowtail kingfish mainly and the mussel cracker. Yeah, Chris, thanks for the invite. Really glad to be here. Nice to um, Good trip, uh, very close, two short flights and, and we're here. So the ticks that we're looking for here would be the 80 kilogram plus marlin. Um, we'll be looking for a 30 plus kilogram wahoo. We'll be looking for a 20 plus kilogram Spanish mackerel, a 30 plus kilogram sailfish, GT of over 25 kilos and it's possible to get all of those fish. So there'll be certain other reef fish that we'll be targeting up in the north. You get really nice coral trout, uh, you can get Malabar grouper um, and a whole range of other snappers that we'll be targeting, the speckled snappers, the river snapper. Jamie and I both love reef hunting. So pelagic hunting is different. Blue water hunting, you spend a lot of time doing nothing. Uh, we're both a bit ADD, so we prefer to be shooting fish. So it's nice to be able to mix up your dives, you know, spend a bit of time on the reef. It's hard diving, it takes a lot more skill in a way because you're diving to 20 to 30 meters, operating in caves, operating in structure, using all your techniques like grunting to bring in the fish uh, and, uh, you know, really just uh, looking to shoot a special fish of a lifetime up here because there are a lot of special reef species. And the blue water hunting, you know, that takes a special kind of patience. We use chum, we use flashes. Um, yeah, and you just try to get down into those big schools of uh, Trevellis and Goldens and Rainbow Runners and hopefully pick out a big pelagic fish. We'll be doing a little bit of last minute gear maintenance and then we're going to hit the water early tomorrow morning. Dive the whole day. Let's hope it's going to be awesome. The Spear Junkies journey was underway, starting with the first adventure in beautiful southern Mozambique. The white sand beaches around the small southern inlet of Maputo Bay, known as Hell's Gate, be the Spear Junkies base for the next week. First day today, got a bit of those first day nerves. When you want to get in the water, see that it's blue, a lot of fish life. Whew, excited. We're at uh, Barracuda Rock, uh, about 16 to 24 meters here, diving on a bit of a reef. Hoping to get some nice reef fish as well as maybe one or two big pelagics. We drove here, took an hour and a half, maybe more than an hour and a half. And from here we go on to the beast, which is a uh, deeper, deeper pinnacles. We weren't able to dive to the bottom there, but we'll be looking for all of the big pelagics. Apparently massive kuta there. Um, you get some big wahoo, some marlin, so maybe we get lucky today. Mozambique is truly the most magical place. With the coastline stretching 2,470 kilometers from Ponta de Oro in the south to the Carimbas Archipelago in the north, Mozambique was the obvious choice to get the hunt for those spear junkies' ticks underway. Whether looking for green turtles nesting in the beaches in the north or sitting with massive leatherback and loggerhead turtles in the south, this vibrant coastline will not disappoint. With some of the most pristine coral reefs found in the world, exploring this diving paradise will always have you coming back for more. The island of Inyaka is situated on the seaward side of the massive Maputo Bay. Stretching 12 kilometers in length, Inyaka protects the bay from the ocean with two passes. The larger northern gap is riddled with shipwrecks and shallow sandbanks. The southern gap gets its name, Hell's Gate, because of the veracity of the water channeling out during the daily tidal changes. This area has it all, from an array of bottom-dwelling species to almost all of the blue water species that you could want to target. The 
shallow reefs that protect the northern outlet of Anyaka Island have created a graveyard of wrecks. From Bashtanai in the cleaner tropical water to a number of barges and small fishing boats that have come to rest on the sandy bottom within the bay. The diving on the numerous structures offers up an exciting alternative to hunting in the blue. With strong currents and poor visibility, diving in the bay can be a challenging experience. The rewards, however, can be wrecks teeming with every species imaginable. The wrecks are also home to numerous giant groupers and hungry bull sharks that can make for some nail-biting encounters, especially when you have a good fish in the line. After Chris missed out on some huge giant trevallies on the barge during his first trip to Anyaka, a magical moment presented itself with his first shot at a black marlin. Shark below me, they've turned into a marlin. Is there a blue marlin? Black. Black, and I gave it a good shot, solid shot. Eh? Did you get it on film? Yeah. Woo! Yeah, come <laughs> on. <laughs> happy, happy. A beautiful marlin of around 85 kilograms and the first tick on the spear junkie's journey. After a 40 kilometer run north, the team were in the water and warming up on a spot called Barracuda Rock. With a depth of 15 to 20 meters, this piece of reef is riddled with caves and gullies surrounded by sand. Chris was on board with an 8 kg coral trout, a favorite for the dinner plate. Not a tick, but an awesome fish to get the trip underway. <laughs> 